Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is a condition as misunderstood as it is tragic. Marked by a cocktail of symptoms ranging from severe cognitive impairment to confabulation, where patients fill in memory gaps with fabricated stories, this syndrome creeps up on those with a penchant for alcohol and disregard for a balanced diet. It's a stark reminder of how lifestyle choices can lead to profound brain damage and the pejoratively termed wet brain. So, what is Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome? Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is a severe brain disorder primarily resulting from a deficiency of thiamine or vitamin B1. This condition is not a singular disease, but rather a combination of two distinct stages, Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff's psychosis, which represent the acute and chronic phases of the syndrome, respectively. Wernicke's encephalopathy is the acute stage of the syndrome, characterized by neurological symptoms due to significant thiamine deficiency. Common causes include chronic alcohol misuse, poor dietary intake, prolonged vomiting, or the effects of chemotherapy. Symptoms often manifest as mental confusion, vision problems, coma, hypothermia, low blood pressure, and ataxia, which is a lack of muscle coordination. As Wernicke's encephalopathy progresses untreated, it can develop into Korsakoff's psychosis. This chronic condition primarily affects memory, with individuals experiencing severe amnesia, disorientation, tremor, and additional vision problems. This stage reflects more permanent damage to brain regions involved in memory processing, such as the thalamus and hypothalamus. Initially, Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome may present with mild symptoms like loss of fine motor function. Perhaps someone once played an instrument and finds they can no longer make music as they once did. Or they misremember the past and fill it in with fantastical and false facts. If treated early, this syndrome may improve. However, if left untreated, the condition can lead to irreversible brain damage, profound memory impairments and can be life-threatening. Therefore, early intervention is crucial to manage symptoms and halt the progression of the disease. So what is the role of alcohol? The primary catalyst in the development of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is chronic alcohol consumption. Alcohol significantly impedes the absorption of thiamine, vitamin B1, in the body, which is crucial for brain function. It also hinders the liver's ability to store thiamine and complicates the vitamin's conversion process from food into usable energy. The excessive loss of thiamine through urine further exacerbates the deficiency, making the brain particularly vulnerable to damage. Thiamine is essential for converting sugars into energy, which is vital for proper brain function. A deficiency in thiamine leads to an energy crisis in the brain, manifesting as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. Other symptoms of Wernicke encephalopathy include vision disturbances. This includes nystagmus, which are abnormal eye movements, double vision, drooping of the eyelids, and sometimes eye muscle paralysis. Neurological symptoms. Patients may experience severe hypothermia and low blood pressure, both indicative of autonomic nervous system dysfunction. They may even have to be admitted to the hospital for IV fluids to raise their blood pressure. Korsakoff psychosis presents as amnesia, confabulation, behavioral changes, and cognitive and perceptual distortions. For example, someone may think they are on a naval ship when in fact they are a resident of a nursing facility. So how does the medical profession treat this devastating condition? Prompt and aggressive treatment is crucial in managing Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, especially during the early stages of the acute phase, Wernicke's encephalopathy. The administration of high-dose thiamine is the cornerstone of therapy. Patients at risk or showing early symptoms should receive 500 milligrams of thiamine intravenously three times a day, diluted in 50 to 100 milliliters of normal saline, infused over 30 minutes. This regimen is recommended for two to three days or longer, depending on the persistence of symptoms such as confusion, cerebellar symptoms, or memory impairment. If there is improvement, a maintenance dose of oral thiamine, 100 mg three times daily, may be continued. 
For long-term management, it's essential to address both the neurological and nutritional needs of the patient. After stabilizing the acute symptoms with high-dose thiamine, the treatment focus shifts to preventing further deterioration and managing chronic symptoms. This includes ongoing oral thiamine supplementation, especially in individuals who continue to consume alcohol or those at nutritional risk. Rehabilitation programs may be necessary to manage cognitive impairments and other psychiatric conditions. Regular follow-ups are crucial to monitor progress and prevent relapse, considering the potential for long-term alcohol abuse. Nutritional rehabilitation plays a significant role in the management of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. A balanced diet rich in B vitamins and magnesium is vital, as deficiencies in these nutrients can exacerbate symptoms. Magnesium supplementation is recommended, especially in the presence of hypomagnesemia, which is common among chronic alcohol users. Abstinence from alcohol is critical to halt the progression of the syndrome and prevent further brain damage. Referral to alcohol recovery programs and support groups like Alcoholics Anonymous can be beneficial in supporting the patient's journey towards recovery and preventing future episodes. Thank you for watching our video on Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. If you found this information valuable, consider supporting our channel for more in-depth medical and science content, podcasts, videos and more. All of our content is written by a human being. We use AI to speed up video production only patreon.com slash weird medicine youtube.com our weird medicine